Alright, it is my one year anniversary of making YouTube videos, and to celebrate, not only did I get a haircut, but we are going to talk about this boring movie. Fantastic Four. So Fantastic Four is a reboot of the Fantastic Four, Marvel's superhero team. You have Reed Richards, Sue Storm, Johnny Storm, and Ben Grimm. And somehow, through reasoning that doesn't make any sense at all whatsoever, they're all assigned to do this science project that takes them to this alternate dimension, and they come back having superpowers that you've seen in the trailer. Now I'm gonna start right off the bat by saying this movie should have been called Fantastic Forced. Cause so many things were forced into this movie. Characters, plot points. Reed Richards, played by Miles Teller, is supposed to be the main character cause he's the leader of the group in all the comics and the previous movies movies, and he's good-ish in the role, but he doesn't feel like a leader at all. And he has shit chemistry with Sue Storm, played by Kate Mara. She's hot, but she is not a good actress. And Johnny Storm, played by Michael B. Jordan, why was he in this movie? He was shoehorned into the movie because we need a human torch to be the Fantastic Four. And Ben Grimm, I liked. I liked him when he was the Thing. He looked good. I guess I liked him the most. Except the Thing doesn't have any pants. That just looks weird. Yeah, the Thing is naked. And because these guys are supposedly scientists, I'm gonna use this term, or lack thereof, because these guys have no chemistry. Mystery. It's like you see Reed and Sue talking and they're getting along, they're giggling, they're laughing because they have a romance in the comics, but it just seems so forced. Because when they first meet, it's like, oh, I don't know if I like you, I don't know, we're not getting along that well, and then the next scene, they're in there giggling and laughing together. Like, where's the bridge? And the plot points seem forced. You know, the scientist guys are working on the project. Sue Storm and Reed Richards and Johnny Storm and their dad, they're working on the project together. So when they first go to this new dimension themselves, Reed Richards is like, oh, hold on, let me call my friend Ben Grimm. You know, it'd be great to bring him along. It was forced into the movie because he's also part of the Fantastic Four. And I'm not even at the worst thing about the movie yet because the guys don't even get their powers until like halfway through the movie. The worst thing about this movie is that it is literally one hour and 40 minutes long. That is nothing. That's really short. But for a movie so short, this movie feels like it's dragging on because it is boring. Why is it boring? Because it spends way too much time dealing with the origin of the team. In that, it's a lot like the original Tim Story one. You know, they're like, oh, we have these powers, but I don't want them. I want to get rid of them. And they spend like most of the movie dealing with that. Like three quarters of the way through the movie I was sitting there like okay we have not seen a big action scene yet where is the action? And it got to the point where the first big action scene in the movie is also the last big action scene in the movie. That's not good especially for a superhero movie. It was like the Godzilla movie that came out last summer that I didn't like. Like halfway through the movie I was like where is Godzilla? Oh you don't get a big action scene till the end of the movie? Sweet that's boring. This movie is just like that. I didn't like that Godzilla movie and I don't like this Fantastic Four movie. And the villain Doctor Doom was fail, I suppose we should talk about him, or it, or whatever. Right when you meet Victor Von Doom for the first time, you know he's gonna be bad, not just because of his name, you know, and he, oh, he's gonna be the villain, we already know that. But in the scene where he first meets Reed Richards, one of the first things he says is like, oh, humanity is to blame for where we are right now, or something like that. It was forced, it was dumb. And when he becomes Doctor Doom, it was just dumb. He looked dumb, first of all. He had this weird looking mannequin head and his mouth didn't move when he talked and it looked weird. And I'm still not exactly sure what his power is. He was just walking down the hall and people were dying. Like, how was he doing that? I don't know. Just everything in this movie pretty much was fail. Were the visuals good? Yes, the visuals were really cool. For the most part, Ben Grimm looked really good as the thing like I predicted. The human torch looked really good as well. Reed Richards, when he was stretching, did not look good. It looked CG. How do you have the thing look good, but not Mr. Fantastic look good? So in the end, Fantastic Forced was, you know, a lot of shoehorn plot points, characters that had no chemistry together, long, boring, what are we gonna do with our powers, stupid story, and no action till the end. So I will say, wait until you can watch this movie on Netflix. And yeah, that used to be my wait till you can rent it on Redbox rating, but Netflix makes more sense. It'd be cheaper that way too. And grasp this, we now live in a world where the Ant-Man movie is a lot better than the Fantastic Four movie. How did we get here? So have you seen Fantastic Four? What did you think about it, what did you think about it compared to the original ones? Whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And yes, as it is my one year anniversary of making YouTube videos, I just want to say thank you guys so much for following me on this journey. We're just getting started. It only gets better from here. And don't forget to subscribe.